Welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword here with big news. It's big news because there is something large in this box. <laughs> uh, out uh, recently from Max Ace Midnight Cat Designs. I'm still trying to get the whole connection there, but my understanding is Max Ace is uh, sort of a child company of Midnight Cat Designs. Um, we have on the box here, I believe, the Midnight Cat logo. I'm not 100% sure. It's a little new to me. But uh, there's your contact information for Max Ace Knives. And I suppose I could have researched that. But we have today, courtesy of White Mountain Knives. Shout out to Justin over at White Mountain Knives. Don't forget, Old Sword coupon code, discount code, gets you 10% off at www White Mountain Knives. But... Without further ado, and I like to get into some ado every now and then, this case is so fat it barely fits in the cardboard box. <laughs> There's a beautiful pouch for you. A Keeves Company still not sure I am familiar with Max Ace there's the Midnight Cat Studio logo kind of cool but I bet you're waiting for the grand unveiling here oh yes a nice microfiber cloth and here we have the Goliath 2 by Max Ace, Midnight Cat. The version I decided to get was this very nice canvas micarta, brown canvas micarta. Comes in a black G10 as well with this darkened bolster. I believe the bolster is aluminum. I can't be 100% sure. I don't see anywhere where it's saying what the bolster is constructed of. Um, in this price range, which is, I think, around $120, you uh, may not get titanium, but then again, you might. So if you find out, let me know. Here we have a nice clip, which is either titanium or probably a titanium. So backstepping, that leads me to believe this could be a stonewashed titanium. But here's the grand opening. Look at the size of this beast. I'm going to give you a real quick comparison to one I just reviewed. Here is the off-grid rapid fire. And that is a big knife. But look at it next to the Goliath. Unbelievable. <laughs> so the action on this is just incredible. Right out of the box. Look at that. For 120, you get a monster knife with um, it is in K110 which is a upper level of the D2 steels has a nice satin finish on it it is a bowler K110 I believe that is a Swedish been corrected in the past but there's some connection between bowler Udelholm and um, a German company that was bought by the Germans. One of my German friends uh, who's a subscriber mentions that now and then. 
Uh, we have a nice brass looking pivot surround. Got the Max Ace logo here. And let's let you see just how long this guy is. Overall length of 10 inches. Blade length of four and a half. Cutting edge of four and five eighths. A blade thickness of four millimeters. We're going to call that four. A handle thickness, which is not too bad really for the size of the knife, 0.69. I don't know if you can get the full, I'm going to move the off grid out of the way there. I don't know if you can get the full impact of how large this knife is. There's a full grip. Comes through with a really, really sharp and aggressive edge. I would say extremely fine cutting. And take a quick pause for a piece of paper. And I'm back with you with some paper. I don't want to cheat. I think I got more than one sheet here. I do. We could do a two sheet test. Razor. Gorgeous. Crazy sharp. Crazy sharp. I think that's Mike Emler's company. Hey Mike. <laughs> this is a cool knife. Um, the liners, didn't check any of this out. Yeah, the liners are steel. So, I mean, I don't think you're going to get titanium liners for the price point. Uh, lanyard wise, you could probably attach something to that last uh, standoff. So you have a very interesting three in a row standoffs there only one of which is accessible from the surface. Looks like these will take the scales off. Uh, smooth jimping, it's there, but not particularly grabby. That's okay. We have a point that's pretty good. After all, it's a four millimeter stock. Beautifully ground. Uh, this is the second iteration of the Goliath. Uh, the first had a slightly different blade shape. I don't have photos of that handy, but you can look it up. There's a Goliath and a Goliath II. This came out late last year from Max Ace, and they have just become available from uh, White Mountain Knives. As I said, there's a black G10 with this blackened bolster. There is a blue bolster with the brown canvas micarta, I believe. There is a white G10 handle with a blue bolster and a blue clip. So um, I think those are the versions, as I recall. But you can check them out at White Mountain. Completely open back construction. No backspacer. Let's see what this bad boy weighs. And there weren't real exact um, measurements or all of them on the website, so that's why I'm going through the process here. Okay, 7.8 ounces. Lightweight, right? <laughs> Let's try that again. I kind of dropped it on there. Ooh, I know why. You can't put the knife on the base of the scale because it's like cheating at the meat counter. All right, 7.8 ounces is what we're going to call it. Again, uh, the action, phenomenal. I believe it's 
tuned such, and it's on bearings, yes. I think it's tuned such that you can fail it, yep. But it swings so freely, it really doesn't take much energy at all to get that to go out there. Take a closer look. Again, if you guys like large knives, this is a beast and a beauty at the same time. The um, canvas my card is, <clears throat> by the way, can be oiled with a little mineral oil or such. Darkens them down. Um, with use over time, they will darken down. If you don't like that whole concept, again, there's black micarta, there's white micarta. Um, black G10 and white G10. Sorry about that. Kind of a rough look to the bolsters, that matte blackened look. And I'm going to try to find out before I post this what these are made of. So look in the notes. Not a whole lot of branding. There's the name of the knife and the steel. And absolutely nothing on the show side, which is kind of nice. Midnight Cat has some cool designs, and some of their blades go up to like four or five hundred bucks, as I have seen. Again, the action, very fidgeting because it's just drop shutting. No tuning. I think I put, did I put any oil? No, I didn't even I didn't put any oil on this guy. Look at that. Nice. The clip's uh, okay. Not deep carry, but, you know, deep enough. It's a very low profile kind of a clip. Blade appears to be dead on. Hard to get it in the right light so you can see that. There you go. Dead on. And let's take a look at it. I think I got all the measurements. Let's do some comparisons. We're going to embarrass some of the larger blades that usually take over. There is the Ontario Rat 1. If I change the perspective here for you, it will look even smaller as it fades off into the distance. But oh yeah, this is a big knife, make no mistake about it. How about a little griptilian action here? We could piggyback the griptilian all day long. And it is significantly smaller. But I think only some of the larger big uh, cold steel knives are going to be... Um, anywhere near as large as this and they're just monstrosities anyway when you're talking about like the frenzy I reviewed and uh, the Vaquero and some of those so um, here's the Benchmade Freak freaking out because it's feeling a little inferior size wise anyway yes the Max Ace Goliath 2 Check it out at White Mountain Knives. Uh, you may find a flavor that you like out there. Is like I say, all colors. And uh, last I looked, uh, they're all available. This might be uh, what you call a sleeper, but certainly um, an excellent knife uh, worth your consideration. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And this old sword signing out. Until the next one, we've got some more exciting knives either in or coming in over the next few days, so stay tuned.